so the next question, a series of questions was on government advocacy. Questions like, what is the administration doing uh, in this very turbulent time, uh, both financially, economic turbulent time, but also politically turbulent time, to make sure that we continue to communicate to the government the importance of uh, the funding. Now, the 0% increase was probably the best we could have hoped for in this 11, 12 year. Many government departments uh, were cut much further than us. The only department, obviously, that had a, a greater increase was health, and that was a commitment that had been made over time. So for us, a 0% uh, represented that we were one of the more fortunate ministries in the government. Um, going forward, we have made it very clear uh, at various meetings at various levels to the ministry, to the ministers, uh, and other ministers who are not even perhaps our own minister, that it is important that we have base budget increases of at least 4%, going forward simply to manage the natural increases in expenses. So we were required to submit a comprehensive institutional plan, and in that comprehensive institutional plan, one of the key topics was around uh, resource expectations going forward to maintain quality uh, and access to our programs, and in that plan, we very clearly stated that we needed at least 4% increase in annual operating grant. There will be a lot of heavy lifting yet to do as a new government is formed or a new leader is appointed. Uh, the global economic condition is still not resolved. Uh, Alberta's economy, while recovering, uh, it's too early to tell, uh, I think, whether we have reached any kind of steady state from a global financial economic standpoint. My guess is we will not know until probably very late this year uh, what the budget will look like going forward uh, because of these reasons, but we will certainly keep you posted. I will certainly have a town hall again in September to let you know uh, where we stand. Uh, I take my job of reminding the provincial government very seriously. I spend a lot of time talking to ministers, and uh, this is critical. Uh, and I, at least I can say for sure that all of the ministers uh, who, were uh, who are currently in place, uh, including the ones who have stepped down to run for the leadership, without exception, uh, have communicated that they understand how crucial investments in post-secondary education, and in particular, uh, in its major universities will be going forward. Uh, so I continue to meet uh, ministers. So for example, uh, in February, uh, Minister Horner decided to uh, run for leadership, and so I had the opportunity to meet with the new Minister of Advanced Education and Technology, uh, Minister Greg Wiedek, and uh, we have had ongoing conversations around the importance of, uh, of the budget uh, and budget planning. I've met with the deputy minister on many occasions, uh, so has the senior team, and we will continue to uh, have continued discussions uh, as the leadership picture emerges. On the federal side, uh, very pleased to say that um, uh, to the extent uh, we had any influence at all, but it was clear that the collective effort of many of the university presidents was reflected in the budget which unfortunately has not passed, did not pass. Uh, it's unclear who will uh, win the next election. Uh, and so until then, we will not know uh, what the situation is. The good news is that uh, the government of the day, at that point, the conservative government, recognized a couple of key things that we had been lobbying for uh, over the last few years. One is the absolute necessity of increasing the um, tri-council funding, that is CIHR, NSERC, and SHIRC. While the increases were modest, uh, they will continue to enable the granting councils to operate as they currently are. Uh, and it also included indirect costs of research, which are crucial for the universities, 
because those are costs that we incur in maintaining the research environment. So that, that was really good news uh, from the standpoint of the federal budget. Unfortunately, didn't pass. Uh, stay tuned uh, for May 2nd, and uh, we will see what happens with that budget. Uh, and uh, listening to all of the various parties uh, during the election, you can see that post-secondary education research innovation has not been lost. In fact, it's been discussed in, in many, many forums. Uh, finally, I wanted to point out the importance of reaching out to communities in response to the question on advocacy. Uh, we took a very targeted approach this year of uh, contacting uh, the corporate sector, uh, getting all of our members of the board, uh, members of Senate, with some clear messages that they were asked to carry to the public, to their friends, to their neighbors, that spoke about the importance of a 4% increase, uh, the importance of access, the importance of maintaining quality, and the importance of investments in research across the board. So we did not stop with simply talking to government. We did indeed uh, advocate uh, through a, a variety of other means.